Welcome to Horror Square. Our channel is dedicated to sharing spine-chilling and terrifying stories. All the stories presented on Horror Square are works of fiction. They are created for entertainment purposes only and should not be interpreted as real-life events or experiences. Horror Square may explore psychological themes that can evoke fear, anxiety, or discomfort. If you are sensitive to such contents, we recommend avoiding our channel or proceeding with caution to fully enjoy our contents. We encourage suspending disbelief and embracing the atmosphere of horror. Remember that the events and characters depicted are purely fictional and not intended to represent reality. We hope you enjoy our contents responsibly and in the spirit of immersive storytelling. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Horror Square. I hope you are fine. Our today's story is, Ominous Glance. In order to inform dear listener friends, if any one of you wants to share your story or any spiritual experience, then you can send it through mail. Our mail ID is horrorsquare triple five at the rate gmail.com. So, let's get started. In a remote village, hidden deep within the heart of an ancient, primeval forest, a palpable sense of foreboding clung to the very air. Towering, gnarled trees, with twisted branches loomed overhead, their foliage forming a dense canopy that veiled the village in perpetual twilight. The villagers, bound by tradition and superstition, rarely ventured beyond the tree line, for they knew that the heart of the forest held secrets beyond their wildest imaginings. Among the tales that had been passed down through the ages, one name struck terror into every villager's heart, Malachi, the old wizard. His decrepit cottage stood on the village's outskirts, a crumbling relic of a time long past. Its time-worn thatch roof sagged under the weight of countless storms, and the windows were draped in tattered, cobweb-laden curtains. The mere sight of it sent shivers down the spines of even the bravest souls. Malachi's reputation was a shadowy enigma perpetuated by the whispered tales of those who had crossed his path. Dark rumors spoke of sinister spells and malevolent curses that had befallen those unfortunate enough to earn his ire. Some villagers claimed to have glimpsed him in the depths of the forest, his hunched figure cloaked in tattered robes, and his steps echoing like eerie whispers among the trees. One moonless night, a hushed gathering of curious villagers clustered around a flickering campfire in the heart of the village square. Their faces were cast in an eerie half-light as they shared stories of the wicked old wizard. Each tale was more ominous than the last, with chilling accounts of his ominous glance taking center stage. It was said that Malachi possessed an ominous glance that could freeze a man's heart in an instant, a gaze so potent that it could pierce one's very soul. As the fire crackled and cast dancing shadows upon their faces, they recounted the ghastly fate that awaited anyone who dared to meet Malachi's eyes. Whispers in the night hinted at those who had crossed paths with the enigmatic wizard disappearing into the abyss of darkness, never to be seen again. In the village, the name Malachi was spoken in hushed tones, a spectral presence that haunted their dreams and cast a pall over their everyday lives. Among the villagers resided a young woman named Katrina, whose reputation for unwavering courage was known far and wide. Her spirited demeanor set her apart from her fearful neighbors, and she scoffed openly at the unsettling stories that circulated about the old wizard, dismissing them as nothing more than superstitious nonsense. Driven by a dare and her own relentless skepticism, she resolved to confront the enigmatic wizard and prove once and for all that there was no substance to these dark rumors. The following evening, beneath a looming canopy of ancient pines, Katrina embarked on her audacious quest. The forest around her was ancient, with towering trees that had witnessed centuries of secrets and stories. As she approached the dilapidated cottage, the very atmosphere seemed to pulse with apprehension. The freaky branches of the trees resembled twisted fingers, as if warning her to turn back from this ominous endeavor. 
Summoning her courage, she reached the cottage door, its wood, worn and weathered by time and neglect. With a trembling hand, she knocked, and the door creaked open, with an eerie reluctance. What lay beyond the threshold, was a dimly lit room, illuminated only by the pale, flickering light of a few candles. The air was heavy with the scent of old parchment and the mustiness of forgotten secrets. In the heart of the room, surrounded by dusty tomes and arcane artifacts, sat Malachi. His form was shrouded in the tattered remnants of a once impressive cloak, and his eyes remained hidden beneath the hood's shadow. With an almost agonizing slowness, he lifted his head, revealing eyes that glowed with an unnatural, piercing luminosity. It was a gaze that transcended the boundaries of ordinary sight, a hypnotic, ominous glare that drew Katrina's very soul into its depths. In that chilling moment, an icy shiver crept relentlessly down Katrina's spine. She tried desperately to break free from his gaze, but it held her in a vice-like grip, a force that defied her very will. As Malachi's voice, like the distant howl of a lost soul, resonated through the room, he began to whisper an incantation, each word dripping with ancient malevolence. Shadows danced upon the walls like the snakes, the very air grew thick, with dark energies, and Katrina stood, at the precipice of an unfathomable and terrifying encounter. As Katrina's consciousness began to blur, a surreal sensation overcame her. It was as if her very essence was being drawn into a bottomless abyss, consumed by the eerie luminosity of Malachi's eyes. The world around her dimmed, and she felt herself teetering on the precipice of an otherworldly plane, a realm, where the border of reality and nightmare blurred. In those haunting moments, her rational skepticism crumbled, replaced by a chilling realization. The tales of the wicked old wizard were not mere superstitions, they were grim, inescapable truths. The malevolent power that emanated from Malachi's gaze was undeniable, and Katrina had unwittingly become a victim of its sinister allure. The villagers, unaware of Katrina's ill-fated decision, never saw her again. Her absence left a void in their hearts and a lingering sense of unease in their souls. As time passed, they couldn't deny the undeniable truth that had befallen their courageous neighbor. Fearful and solemn, they gathered by the campfires, no longer sharing stories of the wicked old wizard, but acknowledging him as an eerie reality. Their superstitions, once dismissed as mere tales of caution, now hold a deep and unsettling resonance. The forest, once seen as a place of natural beauty, became an embodiment of the ominous and unknown. Malachi and his ominous glance became a haunting legend that loomed over their lives, a spectral reminder that some horrors were all too real. They understood that such malevolent forces lurked in the heart of the darkest forests ever ready to ensnare those who dared to seek them out. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to let us know how you liked today's story in the comments, and if you enjoyed the story, give it a like and share it to let others know. Also, consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the bell icon next to it and enabling notifications, so you don't miss any updates. But for now, it's time to say goodbye, but I'll see you again in the next video, thank you take care, tata.